What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Wack here, Jack, bringing you guys a brand new video here today. For today's video, definitely not going to be a normal video that I post on the channel. Today's video, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to stream on both TikTok and Twitch at the exact same time. I've been getting asked this quite a lot recently, so I'm here to show you guys exactly how to do that. Before we get any further into this video, if you guys could drop a like on the video if it actually helps you guys out. It means a lot and it shows others that it helped you out too. Also, if you guys are brand new, hit the subscribe button as well. I want to post more tutorials like this because I feel like a lot of people don't post videos like this especially what i'm about to go over so definitely drop a sub it'd mean a lot first thing i'm going to go over is what you'll actually need and then things i would recommend first thing you'll need unfortunately and it's probably the hardest thing to get is a tiktok stream key there truly is no secret to actually getting it but things i would recommend doing is you know obviously post clips on tiktok in your gaming niche let's say if you're like a gaming streamer and you stream like maybe warzone or apex or fortnite you know post clips of your stream because tiktok will soon enough you know catch on to you actually you know posting gaming clips and they'll be like hey maybe we should give this person a stream key now that is a recommendation i've heard that has worked for a few people but doesn't work for everybody but it's something to try next thing i would recommend to actually getting a stream key is maybe report a problem to tiktok you'll just do that in your um tiktok settings and your you know profile settings you can report a problem and you know maybe ask for one that probably won't get you one, but maybe it's something to try. Okay, so now you're probably wondering, how do I actually check if I have a stream key? Well, you'll go to tiktok.com or TikTok's website, and from there, you'll be greeted with the For You page or whatever page, basically, you'll want to log into your actual account. Once you're there, you'll want to go under the For You following in live, and you should see this Go Live button. If you see that Go Live button, great, you have a stream key. If you don't see it, you don't have a stream key, sorry. Next thing you'll need is basically a copy of WinRAR or a 7-zip. You can get this by just downloading the programs. I'm pretty sure most people have them, if, especially if you've downloaded other things before. You'll pr you probably have WinRAR already, but if not, I'll leave a link down below. Now, the next thing I would recommend is having a streaming and gaming PC setup. Reason why is I have personally tried this on a single PC setup, and it, and it hurts performance quite a bit, especially if you are streaming games. I think I've tested this. I used to get about maybe 150 fps to streaming on a single pc setup with my normal obs running in the background and once i did this method of basically having two obs sessions because you'll need to do that for this method i think i got about maybe 100 fps it was definitely not that fun so it will hurt performance and that's why i'd recommend having a dual pc setup but if you can bear the bad fps then great we'll continue on okay so now let's actually get into the installations and things like that so you'll want to go to obsproject.com i'll leave a link to that down below this is where you'll install your, you know, second session of OBS because that's what we're doing. Once you're greeted, you don't want to click any of these options. You'll want to go to the download at the top right, right here. Once you're there, you're going to scroll down it. You're not going to do the installer or anything like that. You're going to do the download zip. Once you download it, it should pop up a second window and then you'll be greeted with your download at the bottom left. To make things easier, we'll take that download and we'll drag it onto your desktop. The next thing you'll need is OBS virtual cam. This is basically how we'll be able to use your camera for two different sessions of OBS. Basically, I'll put the link down below for that too. You'll wanna to click the go to download. Once you're there, it'll basically download this. I already have it installed, so I'm not gonna mess with it, but basically you'll click on it. It'll ask if you wanna do either one or four cameras do the four camera option and then it should do the install it should say it's done and pop up a bunch of like finish windows click finish a couple of times and you should be good so we're gonna actually first get your streaming obs set up and everything so mine is gonna look a little bit different than yours yours might have like all of your uh different you know cameras and you know alerts and things like that but this is technically my streaming obs i'm actually on my gaming computer i have everything on my streaming computer but basically, let's just pretend that this is your normal streaming OBS. I'm gonna just add everything real quick. So I'm basically gonna add my video capture device. This will just be my camera. So let's just say it's your, you know, your webcam C920, whatever. Now for the next part, unfortunately, you can't do this with game capture. You have to do display capture for the OBS virtual cam. I don't know if there's really a way around it. There might be, but I'm going to show you guys a display capture method of, you know, capturing your gameplay. So on your streaming OBS, again, we're going to right click on your face cam. You're going to go to filters and you're going to go under effects filters. You're going to click the plus button and then you're going to add virtual cam. You'll want to click OK. And then from here, you're going to want to choose OBS camera for just your face cam and you'll click start. You're now going to do the same thing for your game capture or display capture. You're going to right click it filters, you know, click the plus for effect filters, virtual cam, click OK. 
This time, we're gonna change the target camera to OBS camera number two because our face cam is already this one. So number two for your gameplay and then click start. Now, yes, you will have to do this every time on your streaming OBS because if you if you don't do this, TikTok OBS will recognize it as just gray squares. So you'll have to do this every single time. So now we have your streaming OBS set up. We're now gonna go back to the zip file. You're gonna right click it and extract here. Basically just extract it to your desktop. Once you've done that, you're gonna get three folders, OBS plugins, bin and data you're going to click on the bin folder 64 bit under the file explorer and then you're going to scroll down to obs 64 you're going to click it right click it and then go to create shortcut it's going to make it in here you don't really want it in there so you're just going to drag this out on your desktop now from here i would recommend renaming it to something like uh tiktok obs i spelt it wrong just rename it TikTok OBS. Um, I actually already have one, I think, so I'm just gonna do TikTok OBS 2. That way you'll know that this is your TikTok OBS and not your streaming one. Now, this is also another important part. You're going to right-click this and go to Properties. Once you're there, you're gonna be brought to this window. You're gonna wanna focus on the target link right here. And all you're gonna do is hit the space button once, dash, dash, portable, and then click apply then you're going to open up the tiktok obs 2 which should now basically open up a new session of obs or it should at least so you'll be brought up with this auto configuration just click cancel and there you go this is your tiktok obs so now we're going to basically change the settings on your tiktok obs this is what i use on my streaming pc you're going to go up to file settings keep everything the same stream part we're going to get into that later that's where you'll input your tiktok stream key we're now going to go to output this is where you'll kind of experiment you know if you're on a streaming pc setup I actually stream on my CPU on for TikTok for my streaming setup and I use my graphics card or basically the Nvidia NVENC for my actual like streaming OBS. I've experimented with it and I found that just streaming on your CPU works fine, but you can try streaming it on your graphics card as well if you're on a streaming setup. Now, if you're on a single PC setup, this is kind of where it'll take a hit. This is where you can maybe try the CPU, but I let's just go with CPU. For example, you want to just basically keep everything the same here. Um, keep it for very fast and then profile. You can just do high. That should be just fine. Well, let's say if you're going to do a NVIDIA and Vank, um, I would just say actually keep everything the same bit rate. You can keep the same as well because it's on TikTok. It's not really going to pick up like super high quality anyways. I think preset high and quality are fine too and everything should be fine basically. Now audio, you're going to keep everything the same here. You're not going to mess with the audio. And then video, this is a important part right here. Base canvas resolution, you're going to change this to 1080 by 19 and 20 you're basically gonna flip to what it had it before output scaled resolution i stream personally at 720 by 1280 on tiktok that's basically 720p i get no complaints about my the you know the streaming quality or anything like that so i would definitely stream at 1280p because it'll put less stress on your you know your streaming computer or your actual just you know single pc setup but if you want to do, you know, 1080 by 1920 for the output scale resolution, by all means do that. But I feel like 1280 by, you know, 720 by 1280 is fine. Keep this out by cubicle. And then FPS, I don't recommend doing 60 FPS. I've seen streams where people do 60 FPS. And it, to me, it looks like 30 FPS. So I would just keep it 30 FPS and just not worry about that. Make sure to click apply on that. And then advanced right here, I actually do enable a stream delay. I do like a stream delay, delay of like five or 10 seconds, just because it doesn't really put stress on your internet that much so maybe put like a five second delay if you want to if not then you know you're fine to just not do a delay at all so we're going to close out of the settings for now and once you've done that your tiktok obs should look vertical like a tiktok video okay so now we're going to get the scene set up for tiktok so now you're going to basically want to do add and then you do video capture this is where you'll name this like face cam for example once you've made that you're going to right click on it go to properties and then you're going to change the device to obs camera because this is what we did for the virtual camera on the streaming obs or whatever so you want to do obs camera for your face cam and see there we go now my face cam is working for the obs uh the tiktok obs and now you're going to do the same thing for your gameplay you're going to want to do it plus on the scene or the sources part plus video capture device and then do game play hit okay go to device now we did obs camera 2 for the gameplay so make sure you do obs camera 2 and there we go this just pretend this is the gameplay in the background so now this is how i would resize it basically it would kind of look like this for uh, you know it'd look like this when you first add it on but i would basically resize it like this maybe let me see 
yeah, I kind of resize it like that and basically just make sure that this is kind of in the middle so the gameplay is in the middle. Now, if you want to add like text on screen, you can go ahead and do that and just say, you know, uh, follow Twitch, which that is my Twitch. If you guys want to go follow that, if not, perfectly fine. You can like right resize it. You can add the text here and people on the TikTok OBS or, you know, the TikTok streams will see your text right here. So follow Twitch Wacky. Okay, great. So now you have your TikTok OBS set up. You want to make sure to obviously every time you open up your streaming OBS, you want to make sure to start up your virtual cameras, cameras on both like your camera and your actual gameplay itself. Okay, so now to actually get your TikTok streaming information, like your stream key and another link that we're going to want to get, you'll want to go to TikTok and click the go live button. Again, if you don't have this, unfortunately, you don't have a stream key so you can't do this you're going to click the go live button here once you've done that you're going to get a window of basically your you know your dashboard of where you'll choose the title of your stream you can kind of name this whatever you want i recommend naming it exactly what you're doing so like let's say you're like rebirth number one player or like viewer games on twitch like i had it before um you'll choose the topic gaming or whatever or whatever you're doing and then choose the game i guess you can do that i didn't know you could but you could choose a game cover image i wouldn't upload one people don't really see that and then you'll click save after now forewarning clicking save will show the stream key for tiktok and another link you don't want to show this to anybody because people can obviously use that to stream off your tiktok so once you're here you're going to have a server url and a stream key so these are the two things you'll need to set up your tiktok obs you're now going to go back into your tiktok obs you're going to go up to file settings and then you're going to go to stream right here. Now for service, I'm actually going to do custom for the service because we actually have both the links we'll need. So just do custom. Once you do that, you're going to have an option for your server and your stream key. TikTok will show your server at the top and your stream key at the bottom. You're going to put the server, the top one in this part right here and your stream key at the bottom. So you, you want to make sure that those are two different ones. So, you know, obviously your server and your stream key. Now, what I have noticed is I actually have to change my stream key every single day for TikTok. So every time you open up your computer each day or every time you open up um tiktok you know for streaming you will want to actually change your stream key because it will be different every single day if you don't change it it's going to tell you like it's going to disconnect and won't actually connect you to the stream that's where you have to change the stream key and sometimes you do have to change the server too um so make sure you just change that as well when you need to once you've done that you'll click apply to add both those keys and then you'll just click start streaming and you're streaming on tiktok and that is basically it that is how to stream on both tiktok and twitch at the exact same time if you guys have any questions that all please 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 leave them in the comments below i will answer any questions that you guys have again if this video helped you out make sure you guys like the video and if you guys are brand new to the channel make sure you guys subscribe to the channel as well and i'll catch y'all in the next video take care everybody